today we're moving hives. Hello, I'm Griff Rees. Welcome to Gwyn and Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today, I've got some nukes here. Started off small, they've grown quite big and they need to go from here now when we've got a new site um, confirmed. It's just been fenced off for us. So we're going to move these five hives here and another two nukes up to that site. And it's just a quick video showing you how I move hives. I'm doing it on the trailer today and just the kind of things that I go through while I'm doing it. It's just a, a hints and tips video more than anything. Let's get into it. So the most important thing to do when it's moving hives, you've got to strap them. And this is my favorite type of strap with the buckle. Now the trick is you just grab the top, have the buckle down the side, get a good grip, and just lean down into it. And you can see how tight that is, that's really tight. And because the last thing you want is your hives opening mid transport. Now what I always do when I'm moving hives is I have them on Varora mesh floors. Now this is great for keeping the hive cool because you're gonna block up the entrance you don't want the bees overheating because if that was a solid floor with a solid roof, chances is if you're going far, you're going to kill your bees. By having the mesh on the bottom, the bees can get plenty of cool air in, especially when they're being transported on something like a trailer or a back of a pickup without a canopy on. You get lots of air, fresh airflow and the bees use that to cool down. Now another thing you need to do before you move your hives, you need to close up the entrance. Now the best tool for this job is the proper square form that fits in perfect here. I know I've got some of that here, I can't find any today. So a quick trick, if you're a bit stuck and you're on the ground, put a long grass, fold it up, and then that acts like sponge. Stuff it in the entrance, does a perfect job. I don't think I want to transport bees very far using this trick but we're only going roughly half an hour away. This bit of grass is going to do us fine for today. But yeah, once the bees, once the trailer or the jeep starts moving, the bees tend to stay clustered up in the hive, but always worth blocking up the entrance properly. Now, another thing you need to move hives is a vehicle. Now, most of the time, if I'm only moving a couple of nukes, then the back of the pickup is fine. Today I'm moving five full-size hives, two nukes, the bricks and the stand. So I've got this 12 foot flatbed trailer to do the job. You don't want nothing to be too crammed as well because the beauty with these hives, everything's on Varora floors. There's gonna be plenty of ventilation outside on the trailer. It's gonna be very, very easy to do so. And loading and unloading onto a trailer is quite easy. The only downside of the trailer is you need a lot of room to maneuver it. So luckily where I'm going now is gonna be into a field um, moving it in around is not going to be a problem. Some sites of trailers is not an option at all. Luckily today it is. Well, I think it's dark enough now. It's just starting to rain, which is perfect. Five minutes, these bees are going to be in the box. Let's move them. So a little trick I've done. I pointed the entrance towards something. So if the grass were to come out, there's no light or movement out there. It's just dark. These front ones, even the grass, it's impossible for the grass to come out. It's tied up against the trailer. A little bit of gap there because of the lid. That's going to serve me well. Now to strap them down. Well, we strapped down here now. Trailer's a bit big for the job, but this is a trailer that I got. Works perfect. I want to pick up two nukes on the way. They're going to ride in the back because the polystyrene, don't want them blowing away. Everything's strapped down here solid. Let's go.
Well, we've just arrived. Nothing's moved in the trailer. I can hear the bees humming away. Oh, look at this. For every farmer fenced off, I feel like that for bee farmers. Things would be a lot easier, fair play. Right there, that's it, enough talking. Get these bees on you before I lose all the light. Lost some footage here, just to talk you through what I did. I moved all the hive stands into place, placed all the hives on the hive stand, then I removed the grass that was blocking up the entrance and on the polystyrene hives, I just turned the disc to the open so the hives were left open when I left the site. Well, that's it, we've moved the bees. That's a brand new site for me now and I'm really excited about this site. It's in the Brecon Beacons and I won't get honey from it this year, but next year I've got uh, big hopefuls for this site. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video out every week. Thanks for watching.